Did you like that bump or no? Do you want to do more crawling or no? Maybe you like that, I don't know. I feel like he was like, like saying like he did. Starting today with a three mile walk. The weather's just been so nice in Miami that I can't stop going outside and enjoying it. I really didn't know this about having babies, but it's been a pretty humbling experience all around. And one of the just, one of the kickers is four months after you give birth, your hairline starts to literally fall out. Two is that maybe's kissing jelly glosses. Shout out to Fuddies. You know, I really want to go through every brand and do updated selects and just email everyone and be like, hey, please send me things because I'm trying to do in with the old, out with the new. This is a new kissing jelly gloss that they came out with and this is in the this is in grape soda so yeah four months after you give birth your literal hairline starts to completely fall out and this isn't even bad because i'm taking oh look at this i'm taking neutrophil like everybody's saying like oh my god it actually works it actually works so that means that all of this is with this working and it does work because i still have like my gorgeous long hair otherwise it's thick it's healthy like my hair itself is good this is no extensions but my hair line oh my god cute cute my vision for this studio by the way is that cool new york girl that lives in one of those loft the New York apartments and doesn't have much in the room. Like it's a little bit bare and she's a little too cool to try. That's who I'm channeling with the future of this room. I have a mood board going on and this is what I mean. I don't want to do the overload of plants though because that's just not me. It's not who I am. I'm not this green thumb over here. Wish I was. But I think like a couple plants and maybe just like a couple cool statement pieces in here and that's it really letting just the natural lighting in here be the moment like the chandelier has got to go it's really cute because i think this was like a little girl's room before but we can do something a little elevated okay and i think just like using this as a place to do a statement light fixture not too much on the walls maybe a very light textured wallpaper i don't know but because of these floors and because of the lighting, because of the ceiling, I feel like it's just the perfect opportunity to do that like New York cool girl vibe. You know what I mean? But first, shout out to this video's sponsor, Audible. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks, podcasts. The Audible app makes it really easy to listen to an audiobook while you're working out or while you're going on a walk, honestly doing whatever. So when I'm organizing my jewelry, in my studio, for example, I can put on an audiobook, and it's fun. I get to learn new things while I'm also getting things done around the house. So check out Audible. It is a new year, and it's fun to do things to prioritize your wellness, your you time, and really making the most out of your time. One thing that definitely gets easier to fight a lot as a couple with a baby is the whole idea of alone time. And not even like, I need alone time, but forgetting that as people, we need alone time because everything is a team, everything, literally everything is teamwork effort, which is why I say this girly pups, girly pups, girly pups, girly pups, if you don't have a baby yet, which is most of you, the grand majority, don't have one with somebody who you don't make a good team with. So, it's the way it, I mean, Depends, honestly, it depends on your situation, whatever. 
you have to make a good teammate with this person because literally every single thing becomes teamwork. Anyways, we fought yesterday. We've been fighting. I mean, it's just, it's natural, but we've been fighting because of side effects, honestly, just not getting enough alone time. Like, it's, some days it feels like some weeks will go by and neither of us have taken the time to do something without the other one. And they're usually, like, that's not the best. Yeah, it's really not even bad. It's just so natural. I mean, think about being in a relationship with one person for years and then one day to the next, the relationship adds another amazing, fantastic, fabulous member. And this member needs to be with one of you guys 24 seven. And it just so happens to be a hell of a lot easier to take care of a baby when there's two people, really. So yeah, it's been hard for us to do things by ourselves and prioritize getting some time to be ourselves and just not be one. <laughs> oh my god, so I took myself a workout class this morning and I'm going by myself. I'm going with a friend and he's staying here. And we're gonna take some more turns and do some more of that so that there is there's pace. You know, I really thought I was busted this morning and why am I kind of serving? Not really, but you know, not not. I booked this class for myself at four in the morning. Another thing with having a baby is like your whole clock is not the same as any of your friends. Like, yeah, my routine, my clock is just so unique. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited for this class. Let me brush my Hey, How are we, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? It's January. Nuts that it's January. Last January felt like it was six months ago, but also three years ago at the same time, and now it's 2024, and I'm just like, wait. Oh my god, wait, I forgot I have access to the best lighting in the world. Hold on, hold on. This bathroom is a mess, but look at her potential. I love this house. I'm living and living for this house. I really was thinking there that I did not like Miami and I was I was really feeling towards the end of now last year that Miami was the biggest, most creative idea. And I'm like, that was so ridiculously creative of me. Like Miami, Florida, like who, who moves to Florida intentionally? That's how I was just last month just the other day, okay? Girl. It's been fab. It has been fab. It was just the construction at the other place and like, yeah, it's actually been super fun here. The weather is Gorgina in Miami. I could really use an excuse dressed up to get my hair done, to get my nails done, and to just feel like myself. I used to take for granted the freedom of having an hour and a half to get my nails done. An hour and a half to get a trim. I would sit down at the hair salon for four hours to get like a tone and like some little BS that would take them forever and it wouldn't, wouldn't really matter because I had all the time in the world. And now sometimes it feels illegal to get time for myself. And when I am doing whatever activity I'm doing for myself, I have these intrusive thoughts of like, you're a bad mother. Go home. You don't need nails. But like, you know, one of my resolutions, I'm whispering because it's so early right now. It's so early right now. This is cute. I feel like a product of my environment right now. 
for whatever reason, this city, like this specific part of Miami where I live, like Aloe, is the girl brand. And I'm so a product of my environment because I'm like putting on my Aloe and I'm like, yeah. I gotta say, this neighborhood that I live in makes me so excited for 2024. It just is the vibe. It feels like our own little piece of Scottsdale here. It really is so cutie. There's like, oh, it's safe. And there's only like, there's not that many houses. It's not like a Boca Raton situation. You know about Boca Raton. Boca Raton, you go there and it's like, 300 houses in a gated community and it feels like too much to handle you know what I mean but with Florida you can't really find I mean like the tea with Florida the tea with Florida is like there is standalone houses but not in the area that I would specifically want to live in and gated communities are very not the norm here I mean they are in Boca but then you have like literally 300 houses as neighbors you have a whole clubhouse and the clubhouse is like a whole like you know it's like I don't want to be a Boca mom I don't want to be a Boca mom. Like, it's not, it's not giving me. I want to be a mom here. And if I'm going to come back to the city that I grew up in with a balding hairline from postpartum, I am going to do it in this community. It fits. It, it's, it's really fitting the, the tone. <laughs> but yeah, like, I... I've known about these houses my whole life, obviously, but I had no business coming here because none of my friends were that bougie. And this is like a bougie ass little neighborhood and it feels so good to be back and to be here. I'm like, yes, elevating, upgrading, growth. It's just a good, it's a good vibe. We live near an exercise trail here. So it's really easy to get the baby in the stroller and dip for like three miles on a safe, nature, gorgeous walk. It's a different type of pretty, like, you have to be into the vibe. Maybe this year I will travel. I see other moms that I follow take their little tiny babies and they, they go. They go. They go to Hawaii, they go to Disney World, they go to basketball games, like they really go. They will have a baby that is exactly Rio's age and they are everywhere. And I don't know if I'm the square or what's going on here or if I'm, you know, whatever. I mean, look, the T is everybody does everything at their own pace. And I, and I gotta say, something that I'm something that I'm truly grateful about. This is, oh, this is gonna sound very corny if you're not, ah, hold on. This is gonna sound very corny if you're not a part of the mother community. But what I love about the moms on Instagram, on TikTok, wherever, like anything social media, is that these women are riled up and ready to defend like, what is it with the mom community that is honestly the nicest, like, most supportive? Like, don't you try and talk shit about any mother ever, or you will have the moms coming out the woodworks defending you. I experience it every day. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I love the mom community. Truly, I do. Like, uh, this is, I really don't even mean this in a shady way. It's just so funny. Like two weeks ago, I think like a story came out. It was like circulating that Paris Hilton didn't change her baby's diaper for the first like whole month. <laughs> like she went one entire month without changing like a single one of her baby's diapers. And the comments and the response is like, respect her journey. Every mom is different. Like, the moms are literally 
the best because that Paris Hilton story sent me like I was just dying of laughter like of course and I'm expecting one thing in the comments and then I see that and it sent me into another dimension we're getting to Barry's boot camp I think I'm like liking running now learning how to run I put it on my 2024 resolutions that I'm gonna run a marathon which is optimistic and bold but like, why do I feel like I could do it? I'm not exactly a runner or a chaksta, but like, I could do it. Thank you for hanging out with me. I needed an excuse to, <laughs> to show my new watch that Henny got me for my birthday. Yeah. And since Diana had the same watch and I'm giving, well, I don't know if I'm giving that yet, but I will get, I will give that at some point. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next video.